Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the campus of Baruch College for tonight's women's basketball season opener for these two clubs, the Maccabees of Yeshiva, your home team on the court tonight, and, of course, the Baruch College Bearcats. For all those do not, that do not know, Yeshiva do play their home uh, matches here in the Baruch College's Ark Arena. Their dorm makes sense. Their dorm is only about uh, four or five blocks up Lexington Avenue. And as a result tonight, two local neighbors, and I mean literally right next to each other, are getting ready to play. And this should be a very, very evenly matched team looking at both teams during warm-ups. And here we go. Turnover, Bearcats with possession. Here comes Mia Castillo, a CUNYAC All-Star last year. Ball is turned over. Shiva trying to find some open space. Little drive to the basket, and they're gonna call a foul as she was driving. And it looks like the foul will be called on number three, Leon, Brooks sophomore point guard. Jumper, no good. Teams battle for it, ball is loose, out of bounds, Bearcat possession. Bearcats return seven players, a lot of familiar faces, obviously with not having the basketball season two years ago, a lot of new faces last year. Mike Catroso's back as head coach, Baruch alum. Won a championship with the women's basketball team as an assistant coach. Also played, of course, for the men's basketball team back in the day when the great Ray Rankis was roaming the sidelines. And here we go. It was an issue with the clock. It looks to be up and running. Here we go. No good, rebounded by the Bearcats. DeAndre McRae and she turns the ball over. So we're about two minutes in and it's no score. Maccabees with the ball, running a play here. 15, trying to get around Leon, good defense. She drives right in and goes for two, and the first two points of the women's basketball season scored here in the Arc Arena. Long three. Paige Trainer. She saw a lot of action last year toward the end of the season. Had a few double digit scoring games and she gives the Bearcats their first three points of the season via a three pointer. Three pointer by Yeshiva and they respond. All right, looks like we got our technical thing all set up. It always happens first game of the year. Here's another three for the Bearcats. 6'5", pay attention to her. Christina Arvello, she's a transfer from the College of Staten Island, got a lot of action there. They are now a Division II program. You obviously know them for many years, competing at the Division III level in the CUNYAC. And ball almost thrown away, but recovered. And traveling.
Jumper by Mia Castillo. They fight for it. DeAndre McRae with the ball. It's loose, recovered by Yeshiva. Jumper no good, rebounded by Paige Trainer. And Catroso's picking, asking for the team to push it up. Mia Castillo. Leong with the three. No good, rebounded by the Maccabees. Gonna be a lot of running between these two teams. They're very familiar with this court. Spent uh, a lot of time here on their own time practicing. Oh, a little push there. Rebounded, no good. And Christine Arvello with the ball. Mia Castillo with the ball, a little trickery. To the corner, Paige Trainer. Good! Two for two from three point range. And the Bearcats bring themselves up. Good passing there by Yeshiva. Here's a three from Yeshiva. They respond. These teams know how to score so far here in the early four minutes of this game. Comes Mia Castillo, little jump shot. Back of the rim, no good. Rebounded by the freshman McRae. Back to Christine Arvello for three. No good, rebounded by the Maccabees. And number three is gonna push it up the court. Give it to 15. Oh, nice little play there with the left hand and doesn't get the roll, rebounded by the Bearcats. Oh, nice play. Just couldn't get it to fall in. Paige Trainer with the ball, short jump shot, no good. Rebounded by the Maccabees. And this one does roll in. And with that, Mike Katrosos will call a timeout. We'll be back in one minute. Back to action here, following the Bearcats timeout. Yeshiva up by one point, 10-9. The young with the ball, Bearcats trying to run a play. Mia Castillo, she takes a jump shot from the free throw line and hits. Eleven ten Bearcats as we approach four minutes here in the first period. Reminder that the women's game they play four periods. The men play two 20 minute halves. Oh, a little swift play there. Line number 15, Yuval Nitsan, and they're gonna call a foul, pushing. No offensive foul on number four, Mia Denti. Another foul on Mia Denti. <laughs> Christine Arvello will take the ball out, give it out to Leon. She gives it out to Mia Castillo. Gonna drive in, 
Ball is loose, manages to save it. Ball is out of bounds and waiting on the referees. They're gonna call it Bearcats possession. And they're gonna call a foul on number six, Precious Mitchell. Well, Petroso, so you can probably hear him asking the girls to spread the floor. Here comes Christina Arvello. Out to Mia Castillo for three. No good, rebounded by the Maccabees. Maccabees with the ball, open three. No good, rebounded by the Maccabees. Ball is out of bounds, gonna be the Bearcat possession. Comes Mia Castillo with the ball back out to Leung. Out to Christine Arvello for another three. This one hits the front of the rim, no good. Ball is loose, out of bounds. And initially they called the ball for the Maccabees. The crowd reacted and the referee on that side of the court corrected the play. To the game, Shantara Grant into the game. She replaces DeAndre McRae, who just made her debut tonight here playing college basketball. Bearcats up 11 to 10, only in the first period. Steer with the ball, she gets tied up. And they're gonna call traveling. Maccabees take the ball out. Bearcats putting some pressure. Good ball handling there by number 13. Inside, no good. Bearcats gonna push it the other way. Maccabees back on defense. Oh, a little behind the back there to Leung. Ball is no good, offensive rebounded by Grant. And another three. This time by Castillo, no good, rebounded by number 20, Daniela Rotman. And running layup, no good again, rebounded by the Maccabees. Castillo's gonna push the ball up. She loses it, and now it's tied up. One forty-six on the clock. Mia Castillo will take a seat on the bench. Bearcats up 11 to 10 here. Yeshiva University Bearcats season opener. College basketball actually started last night.
Three-pointer. Oh, rolls in and out, didn't get the home team bounce. Under one minute. Ball passing it around, Yeshiva trying to find an opening. Long three, no good. Oh, but they're gonna call the foul. And Christine Arvello was gonna pick up the foul, that's her first. And that's gonna send to the line Yuval Nitsen. Three shots. No good. Bearcats up 13 to 10. Here's another free throw attempt. Good. Layup by Leung, no good. Rebounded by the Maccabees. Maccabees now are going to take it the other way. Oh, nice passing there by the Maccabees. Oh, that was pretty. And just like that, the Maccabees take a one-point lead. Long three by Christine Arvello, no good. Still got about half a second left here on the game clock. And that's gonna end it. So the Maccabees after the first period lead 14-13. Just hold on one second, I'm sorry. Sorry. Come on, right there. Here we go to start the second period. Bearcats playing the Yeshiva Maccabees. Yeshiva up by one point here in the second period. Basket out to number 12, jump shot, good. Back the other way for the Maccabees. Three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Sofia Carnacion. She's gonna run the other way, gives it to Paige Trainer. Trainer's gonna grab a 
trailing Castillo ball no good. Castillo grabs the offensive rebound, puts it up, gets it partially blocked. And they go the other way. And a layup, uh, this one is no good. Yeshiva has missed a number of just easy layups. Carnacion with the ball, gives it out to Christine Arvello. Out to Castillo, Castillo's gonna take a three, short. Ball is gonna go out of bounds, possession Bearcats. Bearcats will inbound. Out to Paige Trainer. She's hit two threes this game. To McNeil. To McRae. Loose ball. Oh, and that one is missed. But, and then she tried to steal the ball. And in trying to basically get back the ball, she records another foul. So now the referees are talking to Catroso as he makes a substitution out of the game, DeAndre McRae. Into the game for the first time this season, Allison Altamirano. The Carnacion out to Lisa Leon, into the corner to Arvello. Arvello drives down the lane, quick pass out to Paige Trainer. Jump shot, no good, rebounded by Altamirano. Another shot in the corner. This one drops. And with that, we are all tied at 16. Inside, nice pass. Just couldn't get the layup to drop. Rebounded by Encarnacion. It was a very nice play by Abigail. Short jump shot. To Morano, oh, didn't get the home team bounce. But the other home team with the ball now. Number 15 has had a lot of possession. She's been trying to create things. Short jump shot is good. Oh, that was a good shot. And Yeshiva with a two point lead. Paige Trainer out to Carnacion, back to Leon. Here's a three. No good, rebounded out to number three, Abigail Koenig. Yuval Nitsen, back to Abigail, back to Nitsen. She gives the ball top of the key. This one is no good, but she grabs her own rebound. It puts the basket up, oh, and Ben misses the layup, tough one. The Maccabees have had a plenty of opportunities to score tonight. They're a team that's going to score a lot of points, but the ball just hasn't dropped in. Another three-pointer by the Bearcats that falls short. So Mia Castillo back in the game for Encarnacion. And for the Maccabees into the game, number four, Jasmine Mailer denker I think the story tonight is you're seeing the, the Bearcats throwing up a lot of threes, and you're seeing Yeshiva really hitting it with a lot of high percentage layups, but they're, they're, they're missing a number of them. Out to Leung. To Carvello, oh, oh, defense. Here goes another cross court opportunity for Yeshiva. And this one misses. Rebounded by the Maccabees. Ball's gonna be on the ground. They managed to recover it. Uh, big opportunity again by the Maccabees and they just couldn't connect. But they're getting the opportunities. Oh, nice lifty play and it's gonna count. And it counts. UL Nissan's gonna go now to the to make a two-point play as the
No good. Layup, no good. Rebounded by the Bearcats. There's a struggle, but the Maccabees come away with it. But no, the Bearcats had it. Baccarella, and another scramble. And the refs are going to call jump ball. Let's see where the clock points. And it's going to be possession Maccabees. Actually, no. They look at the possession arrow, and it was to the Bearcats. Uh, Yeshiva thought they had the ball. Going to put 30 on the clock now. Mia Castillo will take the ball out. Yeshiva up by four points. Jumper by Castillo. This one does not fall. Rebounded by Daniela Rothman. Yeshiva passing it around. Here's a three pointer. Good. So the Maccabees make a three-pointer. They build a seven-point lead on the Bearcats here near the five-minute mark. We'll be back after one minute. Here we go, back here, halfway through the second period. Yeshiva building a seven point advantage here in the Ark Arena. Bearcats with possession, and Yeshiva will come out of the uh, timeout. Bearcats are fortunate though. Yeshiva's had a lot of opportunities for layups tonight. The Bearcats have been relying on the three. Young with the ball. Yeshiva on defense. Gives it to Baccarella. Inside, Castillo, here's a long three by Raquel. Good! Oh, the Bearcats needed that. Yeah. 23-19. Yeshiva passing the ball around into the corner, underneath. No play, sends it back out. Here's another three-pointer by number four. Ball is short, rebound, there's a... They go to the court and they're gonna call Jump ball, and it'll be Maccabee's possession. Maccabees will take the ball underneath their bone basket. They're gonna run a play. And there it is, they're gonna call travel. She had the opportunity right there, but she kind of just moved her foot. So the Bearcats trail by four here, the Maccabees. Some good shooting. Inside to McRae and she gets fouled. DeAndre McRae, a freshman. She played at the Brooklyn College Academy. And she'll go to the free throw line with her first opportunity to score her first college point. This is the first one. This will be the Bearcats' first opportunity to play in the Ark Arena. Yeshiva will be here.
pretty soon, but the Bearcats won't be back here again until next month in December. And off of that, the Bearcats steal the possession. Baccarello with the ball. Gives it out to Castillo. Castillo, short jump shot. Back of the rim, no good. Rebounded Maccabees. Maccabees, short jump shot. Oh, and it's taken away by Arvello. Good play. Underneath to Leon, out to Beccarella. Here comes Arcavello with a three. Good. And we got ourselves a ball game again. 23-22. So we approach three minutes, 30 seconds. Layup, and it's good. 25-22 Maccabees. And the ball almost gets stolen. Good defense by the Maccabees on that one. Into the corner. Here's another three by Ravello. This one is no good. Ball out of bounds. Oh, he's out of bounds. They're going to say Maccabees. Oh, little back door, nice play, up and in. Beautiful play by the Maccabees. Two more points, 27-22. Jarvello with the ball, jump shot inside to McRae. Layup good! That's her first two college points. Shiva with the ball again, a little trickery there with the ball. Up top, into the corner. Long three, in and out, rebounded by McRae. Ball is loose, oh, oh boy. A little bit of an accident there. Mia turned around, but the player Yeshiva was there, totally accidental. But she may, um, she's gonna be, she, I think she's good, she's fine. Here's with the ball, Leon with the ball, out again. Another three by Ravello. In and out. Rebounded by the Maccabees. And they're gonna push it up. Oh, nice play, draws the foul. Yeah, number 15, when she has the ball, Nitsan, she, uh, she does things. And she's got an opportunity here to increase the lead. And in and out. One more shot. And this one is good, gets the roll. Twenty-eight twenty-four. Young with the ball, trying to create some space. Precious Mitchell with the ball. She grabs it, almost loses it, but regains control to Arvello. And Yeshiva ties up the ball. They're gonna call a jump ball. And possession will go to the Maccabees. So here we are now, about a minute and a half left here in the first half, or second period as we say. And they're going to call a timeout to Maccabees, a 30-second timeout. We'll be back in one minute.
back to action here as we play the final 115 here to go in the second period. Maccabees up by four points and with possession looking to build on their home lead here. Koenig with the ball. Long three. Good. Maccabees, that is exactly what the coach drew up on the timeout. And just like that, the Maccabees are up by seven points. Under one minute, Arvello loses the ball and they're gonna call traveling. Tough play on that one. Boy, you gotta give credit there to the Maccabees. Number 13, Shai Raham. Rahameen. And she, by the way, she didn't just do it at the, at the line. I mean, she did it about with a good foot behind the line. Shiva with the ball. Top to Koenig. Fakes a shot, back out. 13 to Rahameen. Long three, make that two in a row. And just like that, the Maccabees are up by 10 points. Jumper by Precious Mitchell, no good. Rebounded by the Maccabees. And they're gonna call a foul on number 12 of the Bearcats, DeAndre McRae. Maccabees with the ball, looking to build on their double-digit lead. Interestingly, they've had a hard time making layups, but they've been really good with the shots. Good defense, and the Maccabees are forced to call a timeout. We're gonna correct the clock here. It's actually eight seconds left in the game. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Here we go back here, eight seconds remaining, Maccabees with the ball. They have the ball, clock starts. Leon guarding. Jump shot, they find the open person, but the ball goes through her legs. That was a very good play, but the ball went through her legs, and that's it. That'll end the first 20 minutes of action here in the Ark Arena. The Maccabees of Yeshiva with a 10 point lead, 34 to 24. And we'll be back in 15 minutes.
Back to action here as we start the third period. Bearcats will get possession. The Maccabees of Yeshiva up by 10 points. They've been the stronger team here in the first half. Surprisingly, they've had some hard time with layups, but they've been incredibly effective with shooting. Bearcats trying to run a play here. Leung takes the ball up, and ball is lost. Maccabees take it the other way. Ball is stolen. Leung this time goes the other way. Passes it to Castillo, and Yeshiva defense will pick that one off. So early going, turnovers by each team. The layup, no good, too hard off the rim, rebounded by Castillo. She's gonna go cross court. Short jump shot in the paint, front of the rim, no good, rebounded by the Maccabees. Rebounded by Daniela Rothman. Shiva running a play up top, Koenig with the ball. She's got the lane. Misses underneath. Rebounded by the Bearcats, McRae. Young with the ball. And they're gonna call offensive foul on number 11, Christine Arvello. That's her second foul this evening. Koenig with the ball, being pressured by Castillo. Gets the ball over to Nitsan, into the corner. Pushes it out, loses the ball. McCray's gonna grab it, and she's fouled. Looking at the scoreboard to see who the foul was called on. Danielle Rothman. That's her first. Young brings the ball up. Bearcats, a lot of work to do here. Maccabees with a big 10 point lead here. To the corner, Castillo. McRae, Arvello. Shiva with the man to man defense. Underneath to trainer, to McRae. Back out to Paige Trainer, and she gets the ball stolen by Nitsan. Up ahead, layup up and in, Maccabees, two more points. DeAndre McRae with two more points. 10 point lead remains for the Maccabees. They run a play, McRae gets a hand on the ball, but Koenig recovers it. Out to Nitsan. Short jump shot by the Maccabees. This one hits the front of the rim, no good. Ball, they're gonna say it was last touched by the Maccabees. Young will bring up the ball. 7.27 here in the third period. And they're gonna call a foul. And they're gonna call it on Koenig, bumped into Arbello. Right, there's an issue with the clock. They're gonna attend to it while we correct our clock. There we go. And Maccabees into the game, number four, Jasmine Molly Denker. And she'll replace number 12, Gabriella Kupfer. Men. Gabriella with the ball out to Leung. Being guarded tightly. Ball is loose. McRae manages to grab it. Ball in the corner. And they're gonna say it's still Bearcats possession. Nia Castillo will take the ball out. Bearcats are gonna run a play here. Stay up, 
Ball to Paige Trainer underneath to Castillo. Layup, no good. Maccabees the other way, Nitsen. And it's stolen by Castillo. And she's gonna go cross court. Short jump shot. Front of the rim, no good. McGray there, misses the layup. Arvello with the rebound, she gets tied up and falls. And they're gonna say it's possession, Maccabees. Number 12, Daniela Kupferberg. Kupferman is back into the game. And she comes into the game for number 15, Yuval Nutsen. Shaheem Rahameen is with the ball. She's had a few big threes this game. Short jump shot. Front of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Christina Arvello. Short jump shot, good! And she's fouled. Maccabees with the ball, stolen by Castillo. Over to DeAndre McRae, layup good. Layup no good, rebounded by Paige Trainer. Ball is loose, Maccabees get it, and they are fouled. Bearcats managing to get it down to five. Yeshiva in a bit of a drought here in the second half. And Baccarella back into the game for the Bearcats for Paige Trainer. And number 20, Daniela Rothman will be on the free throw line for two shots. Hits the first. Six point lead. Misses the second. Layup, passes it out. Long three, no good. Ball is loose. And they're gonna tie it up. And they're gonna say it's Bearcats possession. A little rusty from both teams. After all, this is the first game of the year. They have been working out for the past two and a half weeks since pretty much Columbus Day week. Help, so, you know, help, Kia with the ball, goes in, passes it out to McRae. Out to Ravello, short jump shot, high arcing shot, no good. Rebounded, but then lost. And they're gonna say it's possession, Yeshiva. Koenig with the ball, passes it and it's stolen by Leung. Ball out to Baccarella, back to Leung. She's gonna take a three-pointer and knocks it down. And with that, Yeshiva's gonna call a timeout as the Bearcats now have all the momentum. So they're gonna call a full timeout. We'll be back in one minute.
Back to action here following the Yeshiva timeout. Bearcats on a bit of a roll, managing to cut what was once at one point a double digit lead for Yeshiva. Has now been cut to only three, and Yeshiva has possession. Nitsam gives it to number 13, Shai Rahamin. We're gonna bring the ball up under a lot of pressure. Ball is loose, Koenig, and she makes the basket. 39-34, big basket there by the Maccabees to break a bit of a drought. Shot by Arvello, no good. Ball is loose and turned over. Maccabees with possession will take it at half court. These two teams have played each other to open up the season, I think three times in like the last five years. And it's always been a good game. It's always been a very, very good team between these two teams. Good. Koenig with another two points. And all of a sudden now the lead goes back up to seven. Young with the ball. Bearcats trying to find time. Here's a long three by Ravello. Good. And just like that, it's a four point deficit for the Bearcats. Gives Yeshiva some nice ball dribbling there by Nitsen. They run a play, and now they're going to call, I think, a legal screen. Yes. And that'll be the fourth foul. Shiva coach not very happy. And they're gonna make a quick change into the game. Number 20, Daniela Rothman will replace number 12, Gabrielle Kupferman. She's gonna have to sit with four fouls. We've got ourselves a game. At one point it looked like Yeshiva may run away with it. The Bearcats have managed to come back here in the third period. A lot of basketball left to be played. Layup by Leung, no good. Three-pointer, too long, rebounded by McRae. Good rebound. Oh. And the Bearcats quickly go the other way. Ravello gives it to Baccarella. Passes it underneath to McRae. Back to Castillo. And another three by Ravello. Good, but not good, but she's fouled. It's gotta be tough for Yeshiva to see all that defense. She manages to get the shot off. And gets fouled, and now she'll get the opportunity to try to put up three points. She's a transfer from Staten Island, played a lot, had 18 games at her career high, her career high last season. Doing some research was 18 points against Nyack. Back of the rim, no good. But the one-two tandem of Castillo and Arvello is going to be a lot of fun to watch this year for the Bearcats. one is good 41 38 second one is also good 41 39 the closest the Bearcats have gotten since the first period ball is out of bounds Shiva will take it out. Bearcats are going to go literally man-to-man -man press here. And now they're going to correct the clock here. Now give us an opportunity to do the same, to be in line with the, the game clock. 2.51. Maccabees with the ball. Nitsan being guarded closely by Castillo. And they call travel. So the Bearcats are getting some breaks. Yeshiva, you see this sometimes in the game of basketball with the ups and downs. You know, one team does well, the other takes advantage, and then eventually it kind of flips and the other team does better. And right now the Bearcats have the momentum. McRae with the ball. Out to Alyssa Leung, jumper. 
Rebound no good. Rebounded by Baccarella. Gives it out to Castillo. And now they're going to stop the clock. And they're going to reset the shot clock to 15. Castillo with the ball. McRae sets the pick. Castillo gets the pass blocked. Tries to create something with it. Is that out to Beccarella? Beccarella's gonna drive, gets the shot blocked, and Yeshiva's gonna go the other way with it. But that gets stolen. Beccarella puts it up. No good, but she's fouled. A lot of hustle in that play by Beccarella. She seems to always be in the middle of the diving balls, the loose ball. If she were a baseball player, fantasy people would love her because she just does the little things that are so important that lead to the right person to get the ball. Oh, opportunity here for Baccarella looking for her first points of the season. Two point Yeshiva lead as we are under two minutes here in the third period. Thanks for joining us here. First one is no good, rebounded by the Maccabees. Good crowd here tonight too, combination of Bearcats and Maccabee fans. Of course, again, the campus is only a few blocks up the street on Lexington. Long three, no good, but offensive rebound by the Max. Underneath the Koenig again, she throws up a shot. No good, and Bearcat possession. So an opportunity now with the Bearcats to try to come down and tie this game or perhaps take the lead on a three. Vissel Young with the ball. That's our Velo. Velo drives, passes it out. Baccarella, front of the rim, no good. Rebounded by the Maccabees. Maccabees throwing the ball around. Out to Nitsan. She drives into the basket, layup, no good, but she's gonna draw the foul. I'm gonna call the foul on Baccarella, that's her first, and that's gonna send number 15, Yaval Nitsen, to the free throw line. Back of the rim, no good. Yeshiva in this third period really has gotten cold compared to what was a very hot, and they pick up a point there. Turnover. Layup is good. 44 to 39. Young with the ball, gives it to Arvello. She's gonna drive in, passes it out to Mia Castillo with a jumper is good. 44, 41, we're setting ourselves up here for a very good fourth period. That's how with the ball, gives it to Koenig. Out to Shahi Rahmani. Layup, back, and good. 46-41, Yeshiva is gonna do very well this year in the skyline in terms of competing. Layup, no good. Loose ball, rebounded by Beccarella. There she is again at the important moment. Jump shot in and out. And that will end your third period. We'll be back in one minute for the final 10 minutes of this game.
Here we go for the final 10 minutes of this game. We had a pretty even first period. Yeshiva took over in the second period, built up a 10-point halftime lead. Bearcats were clearly the better team in the third period, hitting some big shots, and they've managed to cut this deficit to five points. But Yeshiva did come alive a little bit in the last few minutes of the uh, third period. So here we go, final 10 minutes again. Let's take a look at the uh, scoring here. We're having a shot clock, pro shot clock problem, so we'll be back in 30 seconds. Here we go to start the third period. Let's check out some of the scoring for the Bearcats. Christine Arvello leads the way with uh, 12 points. And for Yeshiva, they're led by Yuval Nitsan with 16 points. Shaira Hamin, she has 11. They've done a lot of damage tonight. And here we go. All right, they're uh, continuing to work on a shot clock situation. So we'll be back in 30 seconds. Let me go mute here. Here we go, start of the fourth period. Let the Leon with the ball, waits for the Bearcats to run a play out to McRae. Gives it out to Arvello. Arvello drives to McRae. Bearcats to Leong, jump short jump shot. Back of the rim, no good. Rebounded by McRae, puts it up, gets it partially blocked. And it's rebounded by Yeshiva, who's gonna call a timeout. They didn't want to lose the ball with her underneath the basket, so they called the timeout. And they're gonna call a 30 second timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Here we go by following the timeout. Shiva will take the ball underneath their basket. Looking for a really good final nine minutes here. It's out with the ball. Gives it to Rahamin. Inside. Oh, a little nifty move, uh, but couldn't get the layup to go in. Nice move though. And Christine Arvello brings it the other way. He's gonna drive, can't get the lane, passes it out. And just to get it up to Leon. Out to Arvello, tries to find some open space. Gives it to McRae. He works it inside. Nice layup with her left hand. 46-43. Koenig with the ball. Nitsen, short jump shot. Back of the rim, no good. Rebounded by McRae. Oh, she's having a great game. Bearcats going the other way. Here's Mia Castillo. Lisa Leung finds her back door. McRae, no good. Grabs a rebound. She missed the layup, grabbed her own rebound, and she was fouled. Looks like she was hit in the eye. But she looks like she's okay. And the foul is going to be on number 20, Daniela Rothman. 
And Yeshiva makes a substitution. Gabrielle Kufferman into the game. She's got four fouls, remember. Out, number four, Jasmine Molly Denker. Good Lyon with the ball. Gives it out to her. Christina Arbello, long three. Good. And we got ourselves a tie ball game here in the Arc Arena. Koenig with the ball. Underneath. Press, Bearcats putting the pressure on. Yeshiva manages, though, to not be bothered by it as they get the ball around. Underneath, try to use the height, but the ball is stolen. There's Baccarella again. He's going to take the ball, push it out. And ball goes out of bounds. And they're going to say possession, Yeshiva. Bearcats now are going to press number 13, Shaira Hameen is going to take the ball out. Bearcats exactly looking to press. Nitsan with the ball, drives to the basket inside. Layup is good by the Maccabees. Good work there that time. Ended up with a layup by Daniela Rothman. And now they're calling it a foul. <laughs> and that's her fifth on Cooperman. She just came into the game less than a minute ago, and she comes out after committing her fifth foul. And number four will be back in the game, Jasmine De Molly Denker. 48-46 Maccabees. And they're going to correct the clock. Young will take the ball out for the Bearcats right in front of their own bench. Mia Castillo with the ball. Gets it out to Leung. Leung gets into the corner to Baccarella, back to Leung. And they're going to call travel. Koenig with the ball, running layup is good. Koenig. And Koenig helps the Maccabees build a four point lead here in the fourth period. Now out to Baccarella, is it to Leung? To Baccarella tries to find an opening, gives it out to Mia Castillo. Castillo drives down the lane inside and there's gonna be a foul called. Calling a foul on number 15, Yaval Nitsan. Into the game, Paige Trainer into the game for Beccarella. Bearcats need some of that scoring from Paige from the first period. Bearcats take it out. Leung with the ball. Drives, being guarded closely. Gives it out to Christine Arvello. Back out to McRae. Back out to Leung. Jump shot is good. And Lisa Leung makes the basket, and with that, and with that, it's a 50 to 48 lead. As the Bearcats call a timeout, we'll be back in 30 seconds. <laughs> Shiva takes out the ball. They didn't come out of the huddle in time, so the referee just dropped the ball on the court. Here comes Castillo with the ball. Gives it to Christina Arbello. The running layup is good. Go, 
All tied at 50. Mitsan, no good. Rebounded by the Bearcats. Their first opportunity since the first period. Try to gain the advantage here. And the foul will be on number four, Jasmine Mally Danker. That's her second. Bearcats with possession, closely being guarded. Leung takes the ball, passes it out to Page. To Mia Castillo. Mia going one on one. Back out to Page, long three. No good. But it, it went off of the Yeshiva player. So Bearcats will get another opportunity here. Yeshiva will be ruining that a missed opportunity. Here's Mia, puts up the shot, gets it partially blocked. Layup, no good. Oh, that would have been a pretty play if that went in. Up and down we go. This time the Bearcats. And this time Yeshiva makes the steal. Nitsan going the other way, being guarded by Leung. Running layup, no good. Rebounded by the freshman McRae. Leung getting pressured. And the Bearcats break the pressure. Here comes Mia Castillo, short jump shot, no good. Grabs her own rebound, passes it out to Christina Arvello. Three-pointer is no good. And it's rebounded by the Maccabees. We are approaching five minutes. All tied at 50. Jump shot into the corner. Here's a long three by the Maccabees. Hits the side of the netting. Maccabees though managed to grab the rebound, but wait. And looks like they're going to correct the shot clock. <laughs> so here we go with the time that's on the clock, 4.35. Koenig will take the ball out. Gives it to Rahamin. Long three-pointer, in and out. That was close. <laughs> Mia Castillo with the ball. Gives it out to the point guard, Leung. Shiva, man-to-man -man pressure. Leung puts it up, and she draws the foul. And the foul's gonna be on number 15, Yaval Nitsan. And that's her third. So Lisa Leung will go to the free throw line with an opportunity to give the Bearcats their first lead since the first period. First one is no good. Here we go, second free throw by Leung, looking to give the Bearcats the lead. This one doesn't go in. McRae, the freshman, grabs the rebound. Leung, is it out to Baccarella? And Yeshiva comes out with the ball. Now they're running, Nitsan. Layup, but they couldn't get it out as Mia Castillo stole it. Now the Bearcats with possession. Castillo drives court to court, lays it in. And just like that, the Bearcats now take a two point lead. Long three pointer by the Maccabees. This one hits the back of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Leung. Inside, but they're gonna call a kick ball. Get 
Ball is loose, stolen by the Maccabees. They go the other way. Paul is blocked, but they're gonna call a foul. So Yeshiva with an opportunity now to go to the free throw line. And first one is good. And we got ourselves a tie ball game here. Three minutes, all tied at 52. Long three-pointer by Mia Castillo. No good, rebounded by Nitsen. Nitsen with the ball. Gives it to Rahamin. 20 drives, layup, no good. Ball is loose, and they're gonna say Bearcats possession. Here we go, Mia Castillo with the ball, all tied at 52. These teams have all been practicing hard in the preseason and right off the bat, first game of the year, they play a very competitive contest here. It's anybody's game, Arvello hits the long three. That is a big three by the transfer. For Ball is loose, grabbed by the Maccabees. Short jump shot, no good, wrapped by Koenig. Another jump shot, this one in and out. But for the third time, the Maccabees managed to grab the rebound. And they're fouled. Earl, 1.47 on the clock. Big three-pointer by Arvello. She has led the Bearcat attack all evening. Layup, Nitsen gets the layup. And just like that, it's back down to a one-point lead. Bearcats will call a timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Okay, let's set it up. We got 1.30 left on the clock. Bearcats with a one point lead. And with possession, Mia Castillo takes the possession of the ball here. Shiva with tight defense, ball in the paint, gets blocked, deflected. Christina Arvello with the ball, out to Baccarella. No good, rebounded by the Maccabees. The Maccabees with an opportunity to take the lead layup. In and out, but they draw the foul. It's a tough one. Number four saw that she had the lane and she drove it, and she draws the foul. So she'll be on the free throw line for two shots. First one, no good. Second one is good. 
55-55, we're approaching one minute. Are we gonna have a buzzer beater tonight? Mia Castillo with the ball being closely guarded. Out to Baccarella. Arvello to Leung, takes the shot, jumped her. Rebound, no good, rebounded by Arvello, puts it up and in. And that'll stop the clock. As the Bearcats take a two point lead. With 43 seconds left. Big play there by the transfer. And looks like they're working on the shot clock again. The Bearcats with a two point lead. Here we go with 43 seconds left. So Yeshiva will take the ball out. This has been a great, great season opening game for both of these teams. And Yeshiva gonna save a little bit of the clock. Here we go, Nitsan with the ball. Long three-pointer, front of the rim, no good. Ball out of bounds and they're gonna say Bearcats possession. And with that, Yeshiva now is gonna call a timeout. And it'll be a full timeout. We'll be back in one minute. Okay, let's set it up for you. We have about 33 seconds left. Baruch with the two point lead and they have possession. So don't be surprised if Yeshiva is gonna look to foul quickly. And with that, they get the ball to Arvello and almost steal by Yeshiva, but the ball goes out of bounds. And now the Bearcats are looking to make a change in terms of who's taking the ball out. Petrosos wants Carvello to take the ball out. Bearcats with the ball. Castillo drives it cross court, being guarded closely by Nitsan. And she falls. And it looks like they're going to call a foul. Yeah, they're going to call the foul on uh, number 15, Yaval Nitsan. And they'll send Mia Castillo to the free throw line. And it'll be two shots for Mia. So the Bearcats here with an opportunity with so little time left to build on the very small two point lead. Everything counts at this point. Here comes the first three. Free throw for Mia. Back of the rim, no good. Comes the second one. It's good. Here we go, less than 25 seconds left. Yeshiva, they'll probably look to do a quick two point play. Nitsan with the ball, she drives, layup is good. And now there's a foul, Leong is fouled. 
13 seconds here, but the clock, again, we're correcting with what is on the shot clock, was on the board. It's actually 17 seconds. Well, Leon will go to the free throw line with 16 seconds left. And number 15, Nitsan, is out of the game. That's her fifth foul. First one is good. Big point for the Bearcats, 59-57. Second one is good. 60 to 57, the Maccabees with the ball. They're gonna probably chuck up a three very soon. Long three-pointer is good! Wow. She's done it all game, hitting some big threes, sometimes with players on it. And give her the credit. She ties this game up. Let's also set up the clock here to be in line. There's actually seven seconds left. Or six seconds left to be precise. So 60 to 60, your Baruch College Bearcats will have an opportunity with final possession here. Tied at 60, we'll be back in 30 seconds. So here we go, six seconds left on the clock. The Bearcats have possession. So Yeshiva has one timeout left. That's what the ref was asking the table. The Bearcats have two. So here we go. Bearcats will take the ball out. You know, Yeshiva's gonna let her take the ball and basically play defense on everybody else. Castillo with the ball. Gives it to Arvello. Arvello drives and it looks like they're gonna call a foul. Yeshiva is disappointed. They don't think it was. They think she's number 44. Mia Denti says her, she just had her hands up. But they're gonna call a foul on her and that's gonna give the opportunity for the Bearcats to go to the free throw line. By the way, specifically 2.6 seconds left on the clock, uh, which unfortunately cannot be displayed here, but I wanted to tell you that because it says two here. So Arvello has been the Bearcat best player all evening. She's got a chance now to make a point here. And she hits the first one. Second one is good. Shiva will take the ball out. Long pass, and it goes out of bounds. And the Bearcats will walk away with a two-point lead, 62-60. to 60. Let me tell you, great basketball game tonight. Yeshiva played great basketball. Both teams did show a little bit of rust, which is to be expected the first game of the year. But this was a very good opening contest for both of these teams. And I think everyone who came here this evening to Brew College's Arc Arena really had a very good time. And now the teams are going to do their sportsmanship. So... Great basketball game tonight. The Brute Bearcats come out on top of the Yeshiva Maccabees. Both of these teams really looked good tonight. They had their moments, but they also had their rusty moments. And at the end of the day, the Bearcats walk away with the two-point win, 62-60. to 60. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a Brute College Athletics broadcast in conjunction with Yeshiva Maccabees. And I want to thank you for watching here for the last two hours. And we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.